so we now get things back underway with the resumption after the sudden deluge of rainfall that hit the circuit here in Marienburg at Gardin de Fagne International Raceway for the Minimax and Minimax Rookie final, which was red flagged with 8 minutes and 19 seconds to go. So they're going to do one formation lap. And then it is a single file restart. This is quite crucial. So if they break if they break the formation before the allocated area, then there will be a penalty applied subsequently. So at the point of when we had the red flag, Jacob Ashcroft was leading, but then a deluge of carts went off at turn number four, including one. Now, we didn't really catch the number because the downpour was so significant to the point where it was one, one driver went off, and then as soon as it got even worse, multiple carts, at least I think a, a third of the field, but we're getting up to full racing speed as the Minimax and Rookie Final here on day one resumes with green flag racing. So Ashcroft still leads the way. Albert Friend battling away with Nikita Lubimov. Philippe Perez is in fifth position ahead of uh, Thomas Verheyen. As uh, a little bit of toing and throwing, Nikita Lubimov loses third position to Albert Friend, who's scarped off into the distance a little bit. Lubimov's now got Philippe Perez right with. Lika van Berkel, eighth position, started right down towards the back end of the field as we're seeing more positional changes around four. So Nikita Lubimov really being put under pressure. Alexander van Muen is embroiled in that particular battle. He's now got, that is going to be Kai Clark up towards the inside. Clark unable to get through. But this time he will into the right-hander. Will there be a little bit of accidental chronic understeer? Not on this occasion. Ashcroft trying to start building, a, now trying to start to build a lead. 0.4 of a second between him and Cole Denham. Albert Friend makes it the top three, covered by just over, just under six and a half tenths of a second. Felipe Perez leads the train from behind. Now that was Rory Armstrong. That would have been up the inside of Lars Lambers in the 142 to take ninth. So the youngster from Down Patrick County down in Northern Ireland. Doing a very, very sterling job to move a bit further up the field. But with the train forming behind Nikita Lubimov in the 1-1-2, one, one, it's not exactly easy to be the one that you're the one leading the train, so you're the one with the target on your back. But this is where it gets interesting. So that is Thomas Verheyen behind Nikita Lubimov. Then it's Kai Clark, then it's Rory Armstrong, who on his pass on Lars Lambers made it up to eighth place. That looks to be, yeah, that's going to become seventh. Uh, Zolt, there was a little bit of argy-bargy behind. There were two carts wheel to wheel coming out of turn number three. Ashcroft, however, keeping around about a slender four-tenth of a second advantage. Lars Lambers is the quickest out there. Now, since we had the downpour, the it hasn't really compromised it. The track has dried up. There is some humidity in the air. So we do always see a bit of where um, the track will go back to its original state. It is going to rubber in, depending on what the weather decides to do. Uh, Christian Sayerson has retired on lap number three. So that might have been or what transpired. Leon Herbos has not come across the start-finish line either. There's Rory Armstrong battling away with Lars Lambers in the 142. 
as now they, they come through into the left-hander here at right-hander here at turn five. We've got just over three minutes to go, plus an additional lap. It's anyone's guess what is going to happen and transpire behind a certain Mr. Jacob Ashcroft, who is leading not by much ahead of uh, Cole Dedham. The gap last time around after lap number nine is just over half a second between the pair. So oh, here we go, Lubimov battling away with Albert Friend, takes the position away from him. And it looks like Felipe Reyes also got through. There's going to be another positional change. Oh, Albert Friend has just lost four places. Oh, my goodness me. He was running up in fourth. He's now down in around eighth or ninth position. Rory Armstrong got past Lars Lambers, Thomas Verheyen. They all got through on poor old Albie Friend. And now he's going to start fighting back. He's going to now get through. That was on Kai Clarks. That would have been ninth. So that was five positions. He dropped quite literally as soon as Rory Armstrong decided to pull the trigger, uh, pull the pin on the grenade, get through on the inside at turn three. Albert Friend knew that he might have to, have, might have to fight back. Cole Denham, however, is keeping Jacob Ashcroft incredibly honest right now. Getting into the final minutes and a half to go. So this will just more than likely showcase how close this, this actually is. And with the fact that we had... Yeah, the fact that we've had a red flag stoppage, so whatever advantage Jacob Ashcroft had amassed through the first first nearly, well, pretty much first six minutes, of, uh, well, five minutes of the race, he's now been able to try and get that a little bit more in his favour. But Cole Denham's got other ideas. Felipe Reyes is in third. Nikita Lubimov, fourth. Fifth, Rory Armstrong. Lars Lambers complete the top six. Thomas Verheyen in seventh. Top six covered by just over three quarters of a second. And Lars Lambers in sixth, who's just gone up the inside of Rory Armstrong to take fifth place, has just put in the fastest lap. One minute, 0.263. He was fractionally quicker than Armstrong, but not by much. Oh, drama's there. Nikita Lubimov off at the exit of turn number six. And the Estonian drops all the way down. I'm not too sure if Lubimov had a bit of a helping hand. But that is now the... Uh, I'm trying to make out which cart that is. Oh, that's just ahead of Kai Clark. That's uh, Thomas Verheyen and Lubimov. Gets his elbows out, keeps them nice and sharp and ready. Nearly made it three wide coming through the chicane onto the start finish straight. So what was a six cart battle is now a quintet of carts fighting for the race lead. Now here, oh, there was a look there by Felipe Reyes. On Cole Denham for second. And that put the 107 from the Netherlands into the grasp, into the clutches of the Belgian just behind. We are on to the final lap of this race. As the timer has expired, we have got yellow flags. That means no overtaking. Oh, dearie me. Did Rory Armstrong get that move done before the yellow flag? I'm not 100% sure. Not my place to call it, but I did notice but it's going to be out of the final chicane. The chequered flag will wave. And it is what you would expect from Jacob Ashcroft. Pole position in time qualifying. And he solidifies what has been so far this season. A 100% success rate. 
So Jacob Ashcroft wins the race by just over two tenths of a second ahead of Cole Denham. Fully Perez, Rory Armstrong, Lars Lambers, that's your top five. Ahead of Nikita Lubimov, Thomas Verheyen, Kai Clark, Albert Friend, and Yenthi Munen completing the top ten overall. Vic van Kampen out, Oliver Warner, Jack Freeman, Finn Albert Jorgensen, Tristan Shays, Victor Reitz, Frederick Ziggler, Stubberup, ja uh, Joao Maria Pereira, Lika van Berkel, and Lucas Stodda complete the top 20. Rounding out the field, it's Kieran Stewart, Emilian Boul, Cez Moyes, Bram van der Beken, Maria Roberto in 25th, Jeff van der Beek, and then we've got Leon Herbos uh, with Konstantinos uh, Candelidis, and then we've also got Antonios uh, Dactylidis in 28th and 29th, finishing uh, a lap down off of the leaders. Uh, Alexander Vermeuen and Tom Reed, unfortunately, coming together. That, I would imagine, is going to be the cause of the yellow flags. And Christian Sayerson from Denmark retiring on lap number three.